What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you a tour of the new BlackBerry operating system OS 6.0. A lot has been made about this as sort of being the first modern BlackBerry operating system. It's got a full WebKit, multi-touch browser, and a lot of really cool features under the hood. So I want to show you what you guys can expect when you pick up your BlackBerry Torch or another OS 6 capable device that will be coming out in the future. Let's get started. Alright, so let's start with the home screen. There's really a lot to talk about the home screen here, completely redone from what we've seen on previous devices. So we'll start at the very top. If you go ahead and tap the time now, you get all of your wireless controls right at the top, so you're actually quite handy to see. Uh, notifications are being handled very elegantly now with OS 6.0. Uh, similar to what we see on Android with the pull down tray, you get full notifications here. So at the top, you can see I've got 16 messages. That little icon is the social feeds. There's full integration. Uh, right out of the box for Twitter, for Facebook, and for MySpace. You actually see those notifications pop up right on top. You can set them to every time you have an app reply, every time you get a message on Facebook. Uh, however you like the messages to appear, you now have the option of doing it. Uh, the social feeds as well, you also have a full RSS reader. It'll give you notifications whenever your site that you're looking at uh, has posted something new. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. If you go ahead and tap it, uh, you can see I've got messages, calendar, social feed will show up right there, and phone down below will show if you have missed calls or whatever has been going on. Uh, it really is quite handy. Jumping on over to the right side, there's a little magnifying glass. You now have a full universal search, uh, which is quite nice. So it'll search across calendars, contacts, or we'll search the web. Uh, we've seen universal search on a lot of other devices, and you're going to hear me say uh, iPhone and Android this is really what this is aiming at. Um, but this is a very elegant and it works very well. Uh, solution for universal search. Uh, if you want to change profiles, you can now just tap the little profile guy and select what you'd like. But that's not the most exciting thing. Let's talk about these rows of icons and uh, the home screen here. So it's now been divided into different sort of subcategories. We've got frequency you can see right here. If you go ahead and go to the right, you can see downloads. It can give you all your download applications. You can go to media and see all your media. And we'll talk about media a little bit later. Keep going over favorites. If you want to set favorites, they show up right there. And uh, here is all. Now I've got two rows of icons right here. You can actually set it to show how much or how little you'd like. So if you only wanted to show one row of icons, you can go ahead and set that. And as you go through uh, the phone, you come back to the home screen. It'll remember how you had it set last. So it'll come back to the one row of icons. Uh, if you like more, I had, like I showed you before, I had two. Uh, you can have three, or you can have the whole screen uh, filled up with icons, depending on what you like. And with the capacitive touchscreen here, it's a very smooth experience. Uh, this is not a sure press. Uh, screen like we've seen on previous BlackBerry devices, the Storms in particular. Uh, this is a typical sort of traditional capacitive screen. It doesn't move at all, uh, but it is very responsive. So go ahead and push that back down to two. Uh, it makes it a very easy way to navigate your programs. Uh, moving things around are really easy. If you go ahead and hold it down, you get sort of new options that'll come up. You can sort of mark it as a favorite and go to that favorites category. Sort of get that star reminiscent to what you see in Gmail. You can move it or move it to a folder, hide it, or you can sort of show things up in the full BlackBerry menu. Uh, it works very well, it's really easy to use, uh, and the menus are very finger friendly. And speaking of the menus, uh, previous BlackBerry operating systems had what I like to call a simple elegance. Uh, it was a very list centric, you had to scroll through it, and certainly wasn't very finger friendly as we saw with the Storms. Uh, right now though, however, uh, with the, uh, the BlackBerry OS 6, you can do a lot more. Let me show you what that looks like with options. All right, so go ahead and open this up, and you'll see that the options menu have been completely redone. Uh, all the options they've had in previous devices are here. They've sort of been categorized in different different ways. So I'll go ahead and jump into sounds and ringtones. You can see that now everything is very finger friendly. So you can set you know ringtones. And you can pick what you like, and this is sort of similar to what you've seen in the past. It's not a complete redo by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but it does make things much, much, much more finger friendly. So go ahead and jump back. So being a BlackBerry, obviously email is really important to BlackBerry users. It's really, I guess, BlackBerry's bread and butter. It's what they've been known for. There's a fantastic integrated email experience. Uh, and that is really quite true uh, with OS 6. You really get just a fantastic sort of email uh, as we've seen in, in the past. It's very smooth scrolling. You can view all your emails, you get your folder, your exchange connectivity if you like it with a BlackBerry exchange server. Uh, it just works really well. There's not that much to talk about with BlackBerry email. It's probably the best email experience on any mobile device. Uh, if you haven't tried BlackBerry email, it's really worth it. If email is very important to you, uh, it's very hard to beat uh, BlackBerry. And I've said many, many, many times 
uh, for all the great things the iPhone does, its email application is awful. Uh, absolutely atrocious for a power user or a business user. Uh, what you can do with mail on a Blackberry is so far superior than what you can do with it on an iPhone. Uh, Android is probably second behind Blackberry. It's certainly have different options for uh, mail and how you want to set it. Uh, because of Android's sort of open infrastructure, you can sort of choose uh, the best mail client. Again, Apple's is closed, so you have to really deal with what they have. So really the conclusion of that uh, would be email experience here is fantastic. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit uh, about keyboards and how you input text. Now this is a software tour, uh, but that sort of plays into some of the devices, or some of the things you can do with the device. I'm gonna open up text message here. I'm gonna go ahead and open a new message. And you can see that right off the bat, I have a keyboard that shows up. Uh, it looks, I guess on the front, like it's just a slate device. You can use a keyboard and portrait or landscape and go ahead and start typing. It does work very well. Of course, uh, this is actually the first device that RIM has made that has a full slide out keyboard. It looks very similar to what we've seen on the Bold. Uh, it's a very nice keyboard. However, the on-screen keyboard is not bad. A little hard to get used to. The screens can be considered on the small side of 3.2 inches. However, when you're typing in landscape, uh, it's not so bad. But I did want to show you here what the keyboard looks like. So let me go ahead and jump down to um, a field and let's go ahead and hide it for a second. All right, so we got the keyboard ready to go and you can sort of see how it looks here. Now, admittedly, I'm not that used to it, but it does have a pretty solid autocorrect feature. So this is a test. So not the most accurate, but not bad. And it's a little bit better when you type in landscape. So if you do want to input a quick message without sliding out the keyboard, uh, you're definitely gonna be able to do that here um, with the torch. Uh, now also you may have seen the operating system works fully uh, in landscape mode as well. I can go ahead and just give this a little twist and you can go ahead and operate the phone just as you would uh, in portrait. It still shows those two rows, you can move it down to one, and all that we just talked about, uh, you can still do here as well. So let's talk about browsing, which is really important. Uh, BlackBerry has been so far behind uh, when it comes to web browsing. That's really, and that's where they've lost a lot of their market share. People that are looking for a full featured browser they weren't getting, people were jumping to uh, WebOS, to Android, and iPhone. Well, BlackBerry has, and RIM in particular, has responded. Uh, they bought a company that really was making some WebKit browsers, which is the same browser sort of uh, standards, I suppose, that we've seen on other manufacturers. And they've done a pretty nice job. Let's go ahead and jump into the browser. So we've got Techno Buffalo here queued up. Uh, it looks a little bit on the small side. You can double tap to zoom in, first of all. But that's not the only way you can manipulate text. You now have multi-touch. You can pinch to zoom your way through the operating system and now through the web browser. Uh, a little bit of the sort of checkerboard pattern here. It does have, I believe, a 624 megahertz processor. And web browsing is really the only spot where I saw the phone uh, lag a little bit. So you can go ahead and multi-touch and zoom in and out. It does work pretty well. Uh, sometimes it'll get a little bit of a, a lag that we saw right there. Uh, but it does work. So you've been waiting for a browser on a BlackBerry device that was sort of up to par to modern standards, uh, you are going to get it with OS 6, in this particular case, uh, the BlackBerry Torch. Uh, the other area where RIM was a little bit deficient as well uh, was media. So let's talk about that sort of very quickly. We'll go ahead and jump on into media. The multi-touch we just showed is also true now with pictures. You can go ahead and view pictures uh, with the multi-touch capabilities. Go ahead and look at the wallpapers, for example. Go ahead and look at one of them. Uh, you can zoom in or zoom out if you'd like. You can go ahead and scroll to the next one. It's a pretty smooth experience. And you still get that same sort of pinch to zoom. Uh, and they will rotate as you move your phone as well. Sort of what you would uh, expect. Uh, overall, I've been very impressed with OS 6.0. I was a BlackBerry user years ago, and I had, I had to have the uh, user original Bold. I used the first edition of the Pearl. Uh, 9700s. I used a ton of BlackBerry devices. I'm really happy to see RIM sort of embrace, uh, finally, sort of the modern world of smartphones. I think they really have a nice package here and a lot of potential. The phone and the operating system is not without its bugs. I've had a few freezes. I've had these menus not show up. I've had to restart the device a few times, uh, but I guess it's sort of to be expected with a first release of an operating system. I think when the first update comes, I'll probably see those issues be fixed. But overall, very impressive BlackBerry OS 6.0. What do you guys think? Are you guys been waiting for a BlackBerry device that could do this stuff? Are you over BlackBerry? You already jumped ship. Curious to hear what you guys have to say. Stay tuned, of course, to technobuffalo.com for all of your BlackBerry and Torch coverage. We'll be doing a ton more coming up. And for exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I am John Rettinger, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.